engineer in Mecca Mobi. Elder Moses Idu, PDP Detna, would like to take their seats in the canopy. Okay, boss, philanthropy is to a fault. Yes, once again, let's welcome the second. This, uh, you can see on the street, the Madonna College Road, drive on this road. How rough. Are you driving? Closing your eyes. I do. I'm just telling you that the. Please allow us to see what left distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Yes, devastation. Uh, flood that almost devastated the entire environment. Uh, 29 streets uh, are involved. So many kilometers. Listen, listen. Amen. Today is another milestone in our determined efforts to ensure that the perennial problem of flooding in the capital territory becomes a thing of the past. We are here to commission total number of 29 roads of 16 kilometer length with accompanying drains of 31.5 kilometer length cutting across two local government areas, Oshimili North and Oshimili South, on the Mandula College Road, and adjoining streets that link to the existing storm water discharge drain on TBS and Cabinet Road through Indian Babagida. The 16-kilometer flood control project is a powerful testament to the power of strategic thinking and wise planning and saw firsthand the potential this project has in fostering trade and commerce in the two local government areas but also in improving the quality of life of our people. We are not surprised on your achievements so far within this short period of your reign as the governor. This shows your resolute to reunite more project agenda from West Smart agenda of the immediate past governor of the state stop. On behalf of the entire good people of Oshimilisa local government, I wish to sincerely commend you, Your Excellency, for this project, despite the socio-economic upheaval caused by dwindling economy facing the country. Before now, whenever it rains, no one dares visiting Madonna College Road and its environment. As flood always ravages this area, which to a large extent hinders human and vehicular movement. This will in no small measure help put to an end the nightmare of flash flow being experienced by the inhabitants of this area. We, the good people of Ushim, the North local government, are indeed honored, given the fact that our local government happens to be among the councils His Excellency is visiting for the purposes of commissioning projects as part of his 100 years in office. Your Excellency, sir, it is a mark that you have, which you may not, very close to your heart. We sincerely and openly pledge our support for your nascent administration. Okmanam as a community has been besieged by multifarious problems, ranging from environmental sanitation and flooding, just to mention a few. These are expected from a community that is fast growing into a mega city. At our level of governance, Your Excellency, we have done and we are still doing the best we can to curb the aforementioned as well as other issues threatening the community, which without doubt is associated with development. The commissioning of this road is a symbol that our amiable governor's more agenda is at work and our people are expecting more. At our level, we have also domesticated and have adopted the more agenda as our mantra with a view to influencing the developmental project to our people. As we may all be aware, the Nigeria Meteorological Agency has predicted that Delta State, among other states, will face serious flooding. May I state, sir, that 
that they are equally other localities in Okwana and elsewhere within the council area that need similar attention. We are optimistic that our Hamilton governor will give attention to those projects. I wish at this junction to plead with our people, especially those living around the shores of the River Niger, to begin to relocate to higher and safer grounds as a result of the impending flood. We should not wait until our buildings and farmlands are inundated before relocating.